nice meeting, nice service. Thank you all very much. You know, and, uh, this is going to be short because I think the, the man at the end of the table there has got a very long speech he wants to make, so I won't hold you hold him up too long. No, I'd just like to say a few words about the um, Angie here, another one of that really Karen now with a bit of kitten. And now Angie is the last one, so let's you probably say to yourself, I'm glad to hear the end of it. You know, and uh, anyway, for Angie it's nice to know to see that she's um, finally tied on us. We're going to miss her. She was our first one and now she's um, you know, she's always been very good to us. From the time she was born and with the rest of the kids, she was more or less like, like a mother to them. She brought her was the second mother, but she'd never, I don't know, she was a sort of girl that never got too excited about anything. It doesn't matter what you've done, like the house would go on fire and she still stayed there, she wasn't worried about it. Actually, actually the house did go on fire one and she did stay there. <laughs> when I was looking for her there, she was sitting down eating her dinner on the table. But um, that's the sort of girl she's always been. But anyway, I just wish um, both of them the best of luck. And I'd like to say friends with Neil here and uh, best of luck to the two of you. And I hope you have a long, happy and uh, successful marriage between you and uh, I know I'd have to leave now and someone has carried on with John down below he's meant to talk to you. So I'd like to thank you all for coming. I'd like to thank the uh, girl down there, so you're there with a uh, temporary girl for coming all the way from Ireland for a place to you. And, uh, you know, very nice of her. And uh, my own mate here beside her, Hardy, Josie and Elodie. So I'd like to... Uh, Thank you for that, and I'll go and leave you all up to John, and you over to John there at the end. And... Oh, it's a Neil, sorry. sorry. <laughs> and thank you very much again, and uh, have a nice evening. Yep. Cheers. Good. <laughs> My wife and I would like to thank you for coming. It wouldn't be the same without me on here. It would be a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of thank yous to get to. Um, I want to thank Kieran and Anne for bringing up such a lovely daughter and for welcoming me into the family. I appreciate that. I'd like to thank my mom for having such an incredible son. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, uh, thanks for being there for all my life. And I do love you very, very much. Aww. I'd like to thank the lovely Beat uh, and <laughs> lovely bridesmaids. Karen and Kira, I'm sure you agree with the looks of it. You can afford what you want. <laughs> I'd like to find a lovely flower girl, little Ava. Gorgeous. I'd like to thank the ring bearer, Mr. Ryan Deer. I'd like to thank our Joan for the engagement photos. Well, we really appreciate that. Brilliant. I'd like to thank Paris for the flowers. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Andy for the cake. Absolutely fantastic. I'd like to thank the County Hotel for this lovely meal and this lovely presentation and this lovely reception. We will be forever in your debt. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, I'd like to toast. Um, actually, I'd like to toast a guy who meant a lot to me. Um, I wanted to be here today, and he couldn't be. Um, he was a dear friend of mine. I mean, he was a husband, he was a father, he was a grandson, a granddad, sorry. Um, Later is a toast to Mr. Joe Jennings. Thank you.
you. But she could have been the other day. Right. Angie. <laughs> the warmest human being I've ever met. Maybe I thought she'd have cold feet today. <laughs> she's unselfish, she's given, she's loving, and she's beautiful. My greatest strength, of course, is as is a judge of character. <laughs> I don't know what Angie sees in me. Is it my good looks? Is it is it my personality? Word it out, she's got a fetish for chubby men. <laughs> and you've got some really competition in here, haven't you? I don't know what I've done to deserve, to, to deserve Angie. I'm a lovely smile in life, and that's the truth. Before I met Angie, I had a decent life. I had a brilliant son, I had a lovely family, and I had great friends. But now I feel complete. I've got the full package. And I'm grateful to Angie for that. Now her life's not decent, it's fantastic. I love her and will cherish her till the day I die. Aww. to um, a guy who's had nothing to do all of the day but look good, oh. and he's let me down that department. It's <laughs> <laughs> Mr. John Jennings. Um, we've, shared, we've shared some good times together, we've shared a lot of experiences. We loved hiking, we went hiking together. He bought a map, I bought a map. He bought a compass, I bought a compass. He got an Irish wife. <laughs> but seriously, John, thanks for being the best man of the year. And uh, you've been a true friend all my life. Yeah. Um, one more thing. Uh, Towards my wife, Angie. <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you. 